Citrulline is a non-essential amino acid that turns into arginine in the kidneys when supplemented. This makes it a great option for increasing nitric oxide in your body. But what does that really mean and how is it important to you? Why should you care? Recently, citrulline has gained traction in regards to health and exercise. There also is research showing benefit to male performance. Your body produces citrulline and you can get it through food. However, supplementation can help raise levels and may have overall health and exercise benefits. In this video, I will cover effective dosage and when to use citrulline with the benefits it can bring. Citrulline is made naturally in your body and again is an amino acid. Unlike other supplemental amino acids, citrulline is not found in other protein sources like many amino acids are. Citrulline is not directly involved as an amino acid to help build protein. However, it does help with protein synthesis by helping to signal a pathway, which is crucial to building muscle. Citrulline can also help the liver pick up certain amino acids and prevent them from breaking down, as it helps with protein synthesis as well as preventing other amino acid breakdown it might help prevent muscle breakdown overall and add to muscle gain potentially. You can get it through food and supplementation. Citrulline was first discovered in watermelon, in my opinion, one of the most delicious fruits, a true win-win. Again, it is a non-essential amino acid in your body that can produce on its own. Even though your body produces citrulline at a certain baseline, it may be beneficial to add more to your diet through supplementation. But will this help exercise performance? Stick around to the end. We'll cover later in this video and see if it is worth your time and money. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. This really helps us so we can continue to bring practical health and fitness content. While citrulline fulfills many important roles in your body, it is not directly involved in the process of building protein. Yet, citrulline can help widen your blood vessels, helping with blood flow, and plays a role in muscle building. It works by increasing vasodilation or this widening of arteries and veins. This potentially helps with lower blood pressure and better blood flow movement overall. In addition to being created in the body, it is found in many foods. However, most foods have not been analyzed for the exact amount of citrulline contained. So far, it has been found to mainly reside in fruits such as watermelon, pumpkin, squash, and cucumbers. At this point, it is likely that watermelon has the highest content of citrulline. I would now like to dive for a minute into watermelon and some of the benefits specifically with this fruit. Watermelon has a high content of this amino acid citrulline, which is again is thought to help move more blood through your body and help with blood pressure, but it is more than this. It also contains lycopene, which has been found in numerous studies to lower your risk of heart attack. In addition, it's a strong antioxidant and it's what gives watermelon its red coloring. It also has cancer and diabetes benefits when combined with a healthy diet and exercise. The brighter red a watermelon is, the more lycopene it contains. With these antioxidants and amino acids, it can help to increase your workout capacity. In addition, watermelon contains a good deal of potassium that can help prevent untimely cramps that come in when you're working out. Drink some watermelon juice or chow down on some watermelon, and this would definitely not hurt with a workout, as well as could help with muscle soreness after. In terms of watermelon and advice with picking one, I would try to find one that does not have dents, bruises, wear and tear. It could have been exposed and lost nutrients. Also, look for yellow as preferred to a white spot on the bottom. Make sure to check for a hollow sound. This shows it's ready to eat. In addition, watermelons are easy to digest. Even if you have an easily upset stomach, GI issues, they're easy on the stomach and intestines. It will not spike your blood pressure or blood glucose levels, they'll stay the same, mostly. In my opinion, one of the biggest benefits is that it can help satisfy a sweet tooth. It is low calorie and delicious and the replacement of a higher calorie sweet. J just for a comparison, a cup of ice cream will have about 300 calories, while a cup of watermelon will only have 46. It's also fat free, has no sodium. Mix it up, make a, so a sorbet by blending it with lime and put it in the freezer for a little. I want to add the citrulline benefits give you even more of a reason to incorporate this delicious food, fruit as a staple in your diet due to these many health benefits. Give us a like if you found this helpful. Now moving on, about 80% of citrulline that your body absorbs is taken by the kidneys and then converted into arginine, which is another amino acid. Believe it or not, when citrulline works as a precursor, it is more effective in increasing arginine than supplementing arginine directly itself. This is because the body processes citrulline and arginine differently. Arginine is also crucial in producing nitric oxide, which is crucial and signals your body to relax vascularly and improve blood flow. 
This nitric oxide then relaxes the smooth muscle cells leading to vasodilation. Since nitric oxide and blood flow increase with more citrulline, this could be a reason why citrulline is so beneficial when working out and getting blood to the areas under tension. It has also been shown to indirectly increase the amino acid ornithine. These amino acids add up and are involved in your urea system. Citrulline plays an important part in the cycle. In fact, it helps to get your body to get rid of harmful chemicals, removes ammonia from your body, and then is removed as urine. This can also help and reduce your fatigue levels. Citrulline can be supplemented in two major forms. One is called L-citrulline, or basically citrulline on its own, and the other citrulline is citrulline malate. L-citrulline is just citrulline on its own with nothing else attached to it. Citrulline malate combines citrulline with another compound known as malate, which is crucial to energy levels. While they mostly produce similar results, citrulline malate is more common in the supplement world. The malate component can lead to greater energy production. This is seen in both endurance athletes and weightlifters alike. It is hard to separate the effects of citrulline and malate when tested in athletes. It appears that citrulline may be helpful for your blood vessels and blood pressure. Current research shows it may be particularly helpful in those that already have high blood pressure. A 2010 study showed a decrease in blood pressure of 4-15% to after 8 weeks in those that had high blood pressure. Evidence is not yet strong in healthy individuals as no results or lowered blood pressure were found in small studies of up to 4 weeks. In addition, citrulline may help increase growth hormone. Growth hormone in general increases after you work out, but it appears with citrulline that there may be a larger increase. Part of this may be in the adaptations that happen when you exercise. However, in preliminary results, it appears to help add to positive benefits more than just the normal process that happens. In addition, it appears to be helpful for men with erectile dysfunction, probably due to the increased blood flow it brings. Since citrulline increases blood flow, it appears to be helpful for exercise performance. This can be seen in both endurance and strength training. L-citrulline has been used in most of the studies looking at endurance training, and citrulline malate has been used by most doing strength training. When looking at endurance training, it appears that a single dose alone is not enough. Results are still not typically seen in two weeks. However, it can increase oxygen specifically in the actual muscle tissue. So not overall oxygen consumption, but the actual tissue. Simply put, even though it is not allowing more oxygen overall to the body, it is getting more oxygen to the muscles that need it. This will allow you to perform better when doing endurance activities like running, biking, or swimming for long distances. One randomized control study from 2015 found that cyclists specifically were able to cycle 12% longer than the placebo group. In addition, there have been a number of studies showing positive benefits of citrulline, malate, and resistance trained individuals. One study in particular from 2010 showed over a 50% increase in repetitions with those who took citrulline malate compared to the placebo who did not. They also experienced less muscle soreness than those who did not supplement. With that being said, the study is a little limited as it just tested chest strength and was not a traditional workout format as was 16 sets of bench press. You're rarely going to do that in the gym. So real life application could indeed be different. In my opinion, a randomized control group study from 2015 found more promising results. It showed decreased fatigue and increased lower body strength. While this was a smaller study, it tested different lower body part lifts such as hack squat, leg press, and leg extension, showing benefits across these different lifts. Regardless, there were positive findings, and those involved took the supplement 60 minutes before exercising. There's also increased blood flow in nitric oxide when obtained through foods and or extra supplementation with citrulline malate. This can help your muscles to feel more full of blood, or that pump, that many of us have experienced when lifting weights. The most up-to-date recommendation for citrulline is 3 to 6 grams a day or up to 8 grams for citrulline malate. The dosage does vary because citrulline malate has a ratio of 1 gram citrulline to 0.75 grams malate. I would also provide a more specific recommendation based on the health goal you are looking for. If you're taking it for strength and weight training, I would recommend 8 grams of citrulline malate, which is about 4.5 grams of citrulline. To see increased oxygen in your muscles, I would recommend 6 grams of citrulline for at least a week. If your main goal is improving blood pressure, then three to six grams of citrulline a day appears to be the optimal range. Even if you take it up to around 10 grams of citrulline a day, it does not tend to upset your stomach. Other amino acids can upset or give GI issues, but with citrulline, it's better tolerated. The good news is regardless of the exact dosage, citrulline appears to be safe. 
L-citrulline has been examined in small groups of people taking up to 15 grams a day. There was a study in which people took anywhere from 2 to 15 grams and none reported any adverse side effects regardless of the amount. Although even in the highest group taking up to 15 grams, there did not seem to be an increase in arginine in the blood. This just means there's an upper limit to the benefits of citrulline, which appears to be about 10 grams. Citrulline is an amino acid made by your body, available in food and available to supplement. It appears to have health benefits with exercise and fatigue, as well as possibly blood pressure. There are not any known side effects this time. It may help your blood vessels and blood pressure, especially for those who already have high blood pressure. For those looking to fight fatigue when lifting weights, citrulline malate specifically appears to have a benefit of around eight grams may not be necessary for most people in a normal workout routine. However, it does have possible benefits for those looking for an extra tool in your tool bag. It also could help you get a few more reps in, recover quicker, possibly less soreness. It can be good for getting oxygen to the muscles that need it, as well as blood pressure. It may be a nice thing to add to a healthy diet and solid exercise routine. I hope that you have found value in this video and will consider subscribing. We're always looking for new ways to provide practical fitness advice to everyday people.